So this is going to be just a short video lesson. We want to make a uh, script so that our uh, camera will follow our player and we don't just drag it into the player. Sometimes that doesn't work so well. So we're going to um, create a, a public game object, which we always know we're going to fill a slot when we do that. That means we're going to drag something in to, to uh, take effect for that. And we're going to get an offset. So the camera is going to be um, away from the player uh, at a certain amount. And it's going to keep that uh, distance as we watch it. So um, when the game starts, we want to get the, uh, um, the offset, which would be the um, position of the camera versus the position of the player. So that's going to be the distance away from it. And um, then we're going to maintain that position. That position um, is going to keep that distance from the player as we um, move through the game. So um, you can call this whatever you want. I call it camera controller. So let's take a look at what we're doing. Um, yeah, I sort of changed this, didn't I? Anyway, um, so the camera, my I moved my camera back. And let's get this so it's looking right. So I took my main camera and I moved it. Actually, I moved it uh, high and then I rotated it. So my camera um, has a 45 degree rotation on the X and it's up seven and negative five back a little. So I can look at it this way. Man, I want to be able to see my game and see over that first um, wall. So that's about right. I could I could make it a little bit higher, but um, that's good enough for me. Maybe move it a little bit up there, but you know that that's what you whatever you want to do with it. Um, and then in the next lesson, we're going to make some of the uh, um, uh, cubes we're going to pick up, some of the balls we're going to uh, tokens we're going to collect as we uh, roll our ball around. If you want to do one to start off, um, this is my settings. I just got a cube. Um, and this you can put in position you want. You need to do that. But my cube is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and it's rotated 45 degree angle. So um, that's where I wanted mine to look. It looks, it looks pretty cool sitting at that angle. So you can fool around, no right or wrong with that also. And then actually if you want to make it move, it's pretty simple. It's just rotation script, which is something we wrote when we first started. And that is uh, create a, a variable, uh, rotating, call whatever you want to. I don't do rotate because I think that's one of the Unity commands. And technically, yeah, I shouldn't have done this either, but it's one's capital, one's small. It shouldn't be the name. The name of your script should not be the name of your variable. And then it's just transform.rotate versus transform.translate. I, I needed to put this new vector 3 in if I didn't want to. Um, I could have just had it uh, rotating. And these are the X, Y, and Z rotation. You can put anything you want inside here. So it doesn't have to be these. Um, you know, put whatever you want, times my variable, and then times time, dot delta time, to make sure it uh, uh, spins at the same speed. So when I play my game, this is what my balls look like as I rotate. Maybe a little bit too fast, but I can always change it. Anyway, um, Steve, you can get both those things done.